And I want to follow up. I want to thank um, Representative Shuray and Representative Slesnick. We met with a very small group, just three, the other day, informally, just to try to get an idea from them what's going on. Um, Representative Shuray has some ideas uh, to help cities and urban areas. We'll wait and see what happens. But I just want to stress that he also confirmed to me, just confirmed to me, just so you're aware and the public is aware, that I wasn't mistaken. The state of Ohio will have a surplus at the end of its next, next fiscal year of over $2 billion. $2 billion. The local government funding for the entire state of Ohio, in my understanding, was $575 million. Don't tell me that the legislators in Columbus and the governor can't see fit to restore local government funding to the position and to the extent that it was before they took it away from the urban areas with two hundred with two billion plus dollars in surplus. And by the way, that two billion may be a conservative figure. By the time it's done, there may be two point five billion dollars in surplus. Um, as the mayor says and as we all indicate, we want police, we want fire, we want improvements in infrastructure, we want sidewalks. We want to tear down homes. We can't do it without money. And the state is starving local communities like ours. And until the public sends the message to the state legislature and to the governor that, that, that most people live in urban areas, and we need those resources restored, because that was the promise that was made in 1934 when the state wanted its first income tax. The only way you're going to get 175 police officers and we're able to transform this city finally is with money. And they've got it and we don't. So I want to just reiterate what the mayor is saying. We all want more police. We all want more fire. We all want sidewalks. We all want to demolish bad and terrible homes that are killing our neighborhoods. We want better housing stock. We can't do it without funds. The state has it. Please. Contact your legislators, tell them enough's enough. They have the money, send it back.